welcome to Retro Roulette, the home of the home. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Amherst. Home. And Ashley Miller. Charles, I've been waiting to say this for a long time. Shut up. That's rude. I'm spinning this wheel. We're going to play some N64 games, and you're going to like it. So, uh, no. no. Actually, me, actually, the first thing, and, the first uh, thing we're gonna do, to shut up. the first thing we're gonna do is apparently uh, I have landed on extra veto, so we have two now. Yes. And let's spin it Yay! again. So we have two vetoes, and we're gonna start with this bad boy. Ooh, you It's, it's. It's yeah, it's baby. it's bum the buck bum the buck bumble. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Such a good game. Good start. Good start. From, from the makers of Star Fox. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. You have my attention. On on the uh, SNES, obviously. Why, it's given off Conquer. It's given off Conquer big time. Now this, the, the music in this game goes way harder than it needs to. Evil herd. Why? I wish I wish Ubisoft would not set a uh, set on this uh, franchise. They, they, this could be. They could they could put out another Buck Bumble game. Yeah. Well, if they got their if they got their collective heads out of Assassin's Creed, does Argonauts even does Argonauts even purchase. exist as a studio anymore? I don't think they do. No, Argonaut doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. Oh, oh. Oh, this oh this music is oh. Yeah, I know, like the. This this game's music did not need to go so hard. <laughs> it 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 wants you to get crunk as you go bumble. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. This. Oh. That's some heavy drum machine, my guy. Yeah. Oh, the this this is this actually slaps. Oh, it's, it's trust me. I've been getting into a percussionist like mode. Um, what the fuck? There we go. Uh, so yeah. It's like I wish, I wish that I had room. You gotta shoot those me. evil wasps. You fuck you wasps. Wait. Why does it look like a dragon uh, phone? Nope, that's a wasp. Yeah. You can tell because of the eyes. Gotta look into his eyes. You know what? The, this is gonna sound a little weird, but you know what game this this is reminding me of a little bit? What? Uh, what game? Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Yeah, you can see that. Serious Rogue Squadron vibes. We played that a few episodes ago as well, and that was amazing, that game. That I remember, I liked that game. Yeah, Rogue Squadron is a really good game. Oh, you careful. guys actually played some some good games and some games that didn't age well, but were good for the time. In my absence, yeah, like, in sixty four, I'm still laughing at that freaking advertisement from Titus going like, "The best games are on N sixty four," and I'm looking at the games on the advertisement going. Really? Because I don't see any of them on this page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, N64 the, had some 
really good games, but also had some really terrible ones. Did yeah. you seriously try to go slow mo on your ass? The biggest issue but that was a suicide the bomber. Thing. That one. Uh, the biggest issue that There's... the N64 had was that it was cartridge based, and a lot of developers wanted to develop for PS1 because discs were easier to develop for. <clears throat> yeah, I mean you could fit a lot more on them. Exactly. Hey, you said moron. <laughs> that moron. I moron. So uh, yeah, that was the, uh, issue. the late great Stan Freeberg. The future is still cartridge. The future's flat like your chest. Oof. So. Uh, Nintendo was afraid of people uh, bootlegging shit off of the CD-ROM. They got kind of cold feet because of Philips. Like they couldn't do it off of a cartridge? I mean, how do you think we're playing these games? <laughs> people dumped, them, dumped the ROM off the cartridge. And it's like, see, I told you the future is cartridge. I mean, uh, now, now the there's, there's a program that will allow people to take the ROM file and turn it into an executable uh, that runs natively in Windows, giving these games like full widescreen support and all sorts of other crazy shit. Nice. So, yeah. So, uh, as as the person who developed the program uh, showed off, you could do this with any game. You could do it with Banjo Kazooie. You could do it with uh, Mario sixty four. You could do it with Superman sixty four. But why would you want? Why to? would you? Yeah. Just to prove that it's possible. That's a big bitch. That is. Is that an enemy? I don't know. Aim for the ass! Bothering you. Well, you could clearly shoot it, so. Yeah, gotta go for the legs, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Or the head. Tiny feet shuffles. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh, shit. There we go. I changed weapons, and then I blew it up. And then it exploded yeah. into a pile of goo. Wow. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bees can't bees can't swim. Bees even even regular bees can't swim, but robotic bees for sure. God, this is such good drum and bass though. Yeah. Oh, Pro proof that Ubisoft goodness. knows what they're doing from time to time. Apparently, well, they did just announce a uh, new uh, Assassin's uh, Creed taking place Assassin's in Japan. Creed. Yeah, it's like, holy crap, they're finally doing one set in Japan. Assassin's Creed goes well, to Tsushima. <laughs> well, uh, here's Assassin's the thing. Creed Tenchu. Uh, yeah, the Stealth Assassin's, main, Stealth Assassin's the two Creed. Main <laughs> the two main characters of this Assassin's Creed game is a ninja and a samurai, and they're both working together. Which is weird as fuck. But I think people had a huge issue with previous titles because it's like if you purchase the title, somehow it's still Ubisoft was like, just because you purchased it doesn't mean you own it. It's like, well, oh, fucking shit. I paid for the fucker. It's mine. I mean, that's that's Ubisoft in a nutshell. I mean, I have stumbled upon a BFG-like weapon. God damn. Ooh, damn. That's a solid I mean, fucking that's, weapon. That's modern gaming in a nutshell. You know, you got to go with those physical copies or else. Uh, and even then, it's like, oh, well, won't be able to download the patches anymore. It's going to be delisted. You know, like. Don't end up in the water again. Let's not do that. It's like, don't get me wrong, I understand that they have to put some type of online 
uh, online exclusivity stuff, but if your game, like, just make it optional to play it offline. Like, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 has that option. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 has that option. And it's like, I don't want to play online with a bunch of fucking assholes. Especially if, like, they're just going to call me the N-word and, and tell me to go make a sandwich. And it's like, you can't say that I'm going to fuck your dad and give him a child he can be proud of. Wow, you died. Um, you know, because then they're like, how dare you tell me I don't know. Maybe I was too close to the uh, explosion there. Yeah, maybe. Um, excuse me? Wait. Are you alive? Uh, the accoutrements, they do nothing. The accoutrements apparently have made you fucking sideways. I'll just restart. <laughs> it's fine. Still a solid game, though. That that, yeah. that glitch I'm chalking up to the accoutrements. Yeah. Caitlin Clark playing her first WNBA game and people were like, oh, she's not doing too good. It's just like, she's still a rookie. Let her grow, bitch. By the way, uh, did you all hear that there's going to be a pop culture Jeopardy? Oh? I heard about that. Yeah, I took the online test for it on their website and I suck. <laughs> you would think... <laughs> A guy who hosted a pop culture podcast for 10 plus years would be better at pop culture, but a lot of it is there's some sports, which I'm not a fan of, and there's also like modern stuff, which we would not have covered on this, on the metal cast, because it's not around anymore. So, so ever since we stopped doing the metal cast, I have no. Toilet? Yeah, I know what a skibbity toilet is. I'm not completely like. <laughs> <laughs> disconnected from reality that I don't know what that is. It's stupid. It's definitely a Gen yeah. Z thing, but it's not... I'm, I know what it is. It's not that I don't... I'm not ignorant. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see stuff occasionally that, like, makes me go, I have lost brain cells now that I have seen this. Yeah. You, you just gotta so, uh, like somebody playing like... through Minecraft as a skibbity toilet. Yeah. I know I've heard of Skibbity Toilet. I don't. I still don't fucking get it. Do it up, do it up, need, need. But uh, on on the uh, on the other hand, they brought Gmod back to the like forefront for like YouTube videos Ooh, and stuff. Shit. Damn, careful, girl! You almost blew your ass off. Buck Blumble's a dude. Buck Bumble is a robot. That's fair. Robots don't have penises or vaginas. You can make them. They're gonna say yes. They they can have penises or vaginas. It's I would. Like, I don't know that I would want to. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a it's an attachment. I don't know if I'd want to because... put my wee wee in it, but let's just. I'll just say this. Fallout. New Vegas, Fisto. That is all. Fisto? And Fisto There's... was his name. <laughs> when in, in Fallout New, Fisto New Vegas... Fisto is a good wrestler. Yes. In Fallout New Vegas, uh, they're outside of like the New Vegas Strip, there's a place called Freeside, and there's a whorehouse called the Atomic Wrangler. So it's like you whores and gambling... And you have to find That's prostitutes. Whores and gambling. That's Nevada. They yeah. have an optional prostitute called Fisto. It's a Protectron. Which, if you don't remember, these things are like the robots that 
try to like shoot and kill you. But when you upload the Fisto program, it says its full name, which is basically an anagram for Fisto and goes, assume the position. And then it's like, you have the option of like, the fuck? No, just head to this location for your new assignment. Or I guess I got to do it in the name of science. They get fisted by a robot. It's weird. And yet somehow I still do it because it's a hundred caps and like 300 experience points. Because I love Fallout New Vegas. This is giving off. And, and, uh, and Bethesda continues to be salty over the fact that they didn't make it. Let them. Let them. They wanted their cake and they they wanted to eat it too and now they can eat shit. And I love Fallout. I do. But if they're going to get salty, it's like I can't believe we... And, and people want New Vegas. They want New Vegas. Like, holy shit. Got caught up in the explosion again. Oh no. Mission I complete. I beat the level. You got nice. Wow. Thoughts on Buck Bumble, Jason? This is a hidden gem right here. And uh, also hidden jam. Like, damn, the music's good in this game for something on a cartridge. Uh, Ashley. The percussion felt good. The style of it felt good. A lot of stuff on this felt really good uh it's not as good as rogue squadron but it's definitely up there it's giving me rogue squadron vibes which is not a bad thing the controls are very tight they're nice they're not floaty uh it's exactly how a game like this should feel uh and the music is banging scores out of 10 jason uh nine ashley i'm gonna give it an eight I'm going to give it a nine. So, uh, composer for the game was Justin Charvana, uh, and it's entirely Speed Garage. Oh. We wanted something that uh, fit in with a futuristic that wasn't cutesy WCW and a bit WCW harder. WCW. We didn't want to do boring techno stuff or jungle, so we picked Speed Garage. It's funkier than house and garage. THQ. Woo! Another banger. Yep. I recognize the AKI. Hockey man. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. This this opening cut scene is just the best. Today is Friday in California. Huh? Oh. Shoot. <laughs> now it's like, uh, mm, today is Thursday in Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Thank you, David Lynch. It's a Wednesday. It's a Thursday. I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh, wait, I take it back. Is this is this one of my picks? This would have been one of my picks if it landed on my choice. Okay. Okay. Which by the way, which, which by the way, once again Ashley's choice was one space away from this on the wheel and nearly landed on it. <laughs> You know what? I'm okay with that. That just means I'll have to choose something else. Hopefully we don't play through all the good games. Because if we do and all we're left with is shit games, then I'm gonna I have mean, to I mean there's still the Gex, there's still Warzone. Yeah, you know, there's there's still some good on the wheel. Yep. Yeah, uh, but th this this gave me the excuse to do the Tony Schiavone. This is the greatest night in the history of our sport. <laughs> also, just that derpy-looking face on freaking uh, the giant. 
Yeah, you mean in real life or in the game? <laughs> he's heel. He's face. He's heel. He's face. He's heel. He's face. He's heel. He's face. He's announcing he's wrestling. He's announcing he's wrestling. He's announcing. What the fuck is he going to do? He's Captain Insano. <laughs> he should have brought that back to AEW. He really should have. He, he did bring it back to AEW. Wait, he did? Yeah, he did it at least once. They even wow. sold a t-shirt. <sighs> hey, is Horace Hogan in this game? Possibly. I don't watch like, AEW. <laughs> Horace Hogan, I, a.k.a. The, the, I had the considered watching AEW when WWE was get, turning into shit, and then... You know, and then WWE suddenly got really fucking good again, so I was just like, yeah, I'll stick with it. The tables have turned. Yep. Pretty much. The, the turns have tabled. Yep. The Tonys have conned. <laughs> you know, I mean, they put on a halfway decent pay-per-view, but they just do not know how to do consistent storytelling and booking that that's a really lot of, keeps you in like, that is invested. a lot of my issue with AEW is that storytelling does seems to be secondary with them which is not not good WWE no, Tony just wants the internet updates specifically for his booking skills specifically Hunter Triple H knows how to put how, how to put together a good story clearly and and like AEW's got a decent relationship with New Japan Pro Wrestling which is one of the things I like but apparently there was a shakeup with the company Cyberfight. Um, and for those who don't know, Cyberfight uh, is the parent company of uh, Pro Wrestling Noah. That intro, uh, by the way, was four and a half minutes of madness. <laughs> uh, Cyberfight oh, uh, encompasses Pro Wrestling Noah, Tokyo Joshi Pro. And DDT Pro Wrestling. Uh, what does realism mean? And, okay. and it says oh, here, um, Yasuo Okamoto is set to replace Sanshiro Takagi as president and representative director uh, starting June 1st. Um, expressing gratitude to uh, Takagi for his leadership. It was announced during the press conference that one of the primary goals was to strengthen the relationship with WWE. So, yeah, AEW might have New Japan, but freaking WWE might just have a partnership with DDT and Pro Wrestling Noah and Tokyo Joshi Pro. So... Yeah, I'm all for it. Ugh. What, what do you expect? Hunter is. Hunter is. I, I don't even want to call him Hunter Hearst anymore. Paul Levesque is wrestling. <laughs> NWO White. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Bischoff. Oh my god. I remember when we played uh, WCW NW World Tour and there's a character in that called Blackheart. Yep. Hans Doman. Sure. Maya Inca Boy. Sure. What? Executioner. Oh my god. Hockey man, yes. The shock master. Definitely want to put a quick match on, because <laughs> otherwise, there's a forty man battle royal. It'll go for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Eric oh, Bitchoff. It's it's all. I, I put it on. Him. I'm letting the game play itself, as I tend to do with certain sports games. Now, normally, I would enjoy playing a wrestling game, then like the soccer or the football games. But sometimes a lot of the fun is just simulating matches. Ninja Man. Hanzo Man. Hanzo Man. It's been 83 weeks. 
Bucks with Eric Bischoff. I don't remember Hanzo Mon. He's not a real person. Well, he is, but he's not oh. called Hanzo Mon. A lot of their names were changed. Jap uh, wrestlers from Japan that were names were changed because they didn't have the licenses. This guy is just. Um, this just seems like. I mean, uh, obviously this was yeah, way before he, the time, but this is. This the is name. This is PCO. Hanzoman. Literally, they just changed the name to that uh, after a subway station on the Tokyo Metro line. Yeah. Pokemon. I remember Akiman. He was for the game. Oh, okay. Hanzaman's supposed to be Hayabusa. I see. Yeah, that's right. Stretch some hammies, boy. I love that immediately, uh, fucking Akiman went after Eric Bischoff. Wow. Also, I, I don't didn't realize that Hayabusa passed away in freaking 2016. I was going to say, also, I don't believe Eric Bischoff can grapple. <laughs> I believe he's <laughs> all karate moves. Karate. Karate. Boner. Huh. Hayabusa also pursued a career as a singer. Interesting. Uh, hi. Uh, first appearance in the USA since 2000, the last time being E3 in Los Angeles to promote Tokyo Pop's FMW DVDs by having a six man tag match. Oh, see ya, Dr. Frank. Oh, yeah, pinfalls are on, too. So this is Aztec Warfare. Oh, Damn apparently I, I turned off. Apparently, I thought I turned. I thought I kept that on, but apparently ring out does not mean lose. So, so it's straight, yeah. straight up Aztec Warfare. Unfortunately, this just seems to be the killer of a lot of freaking famous Japanese people. Uh, Hayabusa died of a cerebral hemorrhage in 2016 at age 47. His body was found when the owner of a nearby tavern with whom he was scheduled to meet uh, concerning a March 7th event went to his home after he failed to arrive for a planned meeting. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm not using the computer room plates anymore. Oh. I'll be right back, gentlemen. I have dinner. Okay. Ah, oh, Akiman kicked out. Akiman! So I was trying to make this so it would go quicker. Oh, somebody tapped. Oh, there's Hollywood Hogan. <laughs> Number five. Wow. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make this to be where it was a quicker match, but I may have inadvertently made it longer on X. Is that Frankenstein's monster in the ring? Dr. Frank. Yeah, he's even got the neck bolts. Uh, that's why I was saying it's like a PCO analog long before PCO was a thing. Poor Bischoff's get ganged on by a fucking Hollywood Hogan and Dr. Frank.
He's hooked up, brother. You're not. He's not gonna sell for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to drop the big leg on Aki Man. Or not? Maybe not. Yeah. Everybody's just wasting their their specials. Yeah. Computer's not too bright. Yeah, and that's a shame because I put it on hard. Hogan tapped. Hogan tapped. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a thing you never see. Here comes the macho man. Ooh. Cup of coffee. Cream of the crop. The madness is running wild. I miss Elizabeth. I you know how Eric Bischoff would even hit his special since he can't grapple. I assume he just hits this, the control stick and he can just do a big punch or some shit. Oh, Aki Man's gone. Aki Man's gone. Raven! What about Raven? What about me? What about Raven? What about me? What about Scotty Flamingo? <laughs> <laughs> Which was closer to his actual life than Raven was. <laughs> oh, the Macho Man's going up for the elbow. Boom! And he missed because... Fucking, elbow drop. Oh. He missed because Raven grappled uh, Dr. Frank, which made him unavailable for the el elbow drop. See, that would have been an elimination had I set the matchup the way I wanted to. It's all right. Oh, Bischoff's going to go out after him. Maybe it's because I turned DQs on. I don't know. Or off, I should say. Maybe. Uh, this was uh, this was back when there was only a tiny bit of padding around the arena. Yeah. One. Yeah. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> Uh oh, Dr. Frank's going to hit his special. Torture rack. Randy Torture might Torture rack. Yep, he tapped. Yep. Who's next? Oh, and you have the answers. I changed the questions. So, uh, here to kick ass and chew gum. That's right, I'm here to kick bubble gum and chew ass. And I'm all out of ass. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on WCW and WO Revenge, Jason? Yeah, it's a fun little, uh, fun, uh, I, I, I don't consider this much of a simulator. I consider this more of like a party game. Yeah, the, uh, the Aki wrestling games generally were. <sighs> but yeah, it's, a, it's fun. Uh, obviously, Aki kept improving upon itself. It, uh, World Tour was great. This improved upon that. Uh, I believe this was the last uh, game that Aki would release for WCW before they pivoted and got the and, and got the WWF license, and then EA. Because then they would make uh, EA and WrestleMania 2000 and uh, No Mercy. Obviously, yes, the classic No Mercy, uh, which we will get to down the line. But yeah, and then uh, the WCW license went to EA, who gave us such gems as mayhem and a backstage fucking assault. Nice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I like the game. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Scores out of ten, Jason. Ten. Ashley. Ten. I'm gonna give it a nine. 
yeah, it turns out my microphone was fucking muted, and here I thought you guys were talking over me, and it's like, nope, fuck, my microphone is muted again. Yeah, you should. Okay, you should what's gonna be the last that. game? <laughs> yep, last game of the episode coming up. Let's see what it is. Mm. This will be interesting. Milo's Astro Lanes. So far, we haven't really had any super shitty games, so except for the one. Okay. Yeah. No. This this one was all right. Crave. Bold. Isn't this the studio that became Rockstar? No, nah, that was uh, DMI, I think. The 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 people who made uh, Space Station Silicon Valley. Okay. I fucking love mashed potatoes. That's Ooh. wonderful. Choose the choose the marble ball. Choose the marble ball. Select your contestant, Officer and Joy. Of course, you would choose the big titty girl. Ooh. Uh, let's see here: six playable characters, twelve galactic lanes, six types of bowling balls, uh, four players simultaneous mode, variety of specials available. Uh, has an aggregate score on game rankings of 69 percent nice um there are plans made by capcom to bring this to japan under the title space bowler milo but uh they were canceled due to low sales of the n64 in japan bowling to milo ah Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, developed by Player One. Never even heard of them. Crave Games. Uh, Crave ah. Entertainment, a.k.a. Crave Games. Um, founded in 97... Acquired by Handelman Company in 2005, and a deal valued up to 95 million, then sold to Fill Point LLC for only 8 million 100 thousand due to wow. Handelman's bankruptcy and liquidation. Uh, what in the fuck? Crave mostly did budget titles and import games like Tokyo Extreme Racer. Oh shit. That's a no good. If there's Ooh, a way that, that you is can bad. get those, those three and knock them over to the other side, you might be able to pick it up. Sound. What's with the stars? I don't know. God, this is such an acid trip. Oh, uh, could, could, could. Oh, not quite. Uh, it was, it bad. was starting to look good. I think Anuki here is going to kick my ass. Why is his power meter longer than mine? That doesn't make any sense. He must be a better character all rounded. Holy shit! Yeah. I kind of feel like this bitch cheating. Which is funny because I don't think there's any cheats for this, so I'd have them on. Oh, there's one. Bowl of perfect game. Yeah, okay. Ooh, tricky. So, um, I. I may or may not have come up with a podcast idea. But I have to wait. I have to see if, if I have the 
Oh, 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 that's close. Oh. Oh. Yes. That should be an easy pickup. You just got a bullet straight, straight down the middle. Straight out of the line. I can't find a reason. Oh, that's how I increase the power. I've got the power! Boom! Oh, you got Picked up the spare. Yes. Wowie. Zow wowie zowie. She must be a firefly. Damn! That big headed motherfucker's good! Yeah. Yeah, he is. Look at that smug son of a bitch. He didn't even, like, take his time to, like, line it up. He just tosses the bitch. Oh, he had a power-up that allowed him to fucking do that, apparently. I don't even know how to use power-ups in this. Ooh, tricky. Uh, that corn. I'm going to, I'm going to look up the... Let me see if I can look up the instruction book real quick <laughs> so I can figure it out. That, that poor Gary big guy looking bastard down there. Like, we're just dangling his throat. N64 manual. Nope, that's... I don't want to buy one. I just want to look at it. Remember, anxiety is literally just conspiracy theories about yourself. Oh, fuck you, Skeletor. <laughs> All right, here's the booklet. Oh, uh, uh, it, okay, Z button does it. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, good to know. Let's, let's try. It. Uh. Yeah, that's what a baby lobster looks like. So that woman that was trying to sell quote-unquote baby lobsters to me? Full of shit. Hey, picked it up. Cool. Now, all right, now, now I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm starting to get the hang of it, yep. Uh, now that I know all the controls and shit. Use the power up. Oh yeah, he's got a split. Tough luck, bitch. What the fuck? Power up gave him triple, gave him a multi ball, as it were. Still didn't pick up the spare, so not that it matters. Yeah, you're gonna have to get like a turkey in order to fucking even remotely play catch up with that hoe. Ooh. That's okay. That's doable. Yes. Yeah, that's that's not as bad. I am so glad that oh, we shit. were able to do this today. Ah, oh, I put too much Ooh. spin on it. Oh. On accident. Oh. I am so glad we pulled this off today. So, so glad. Ooh, another split for him. <laughs> Bitch. Stuck 
suck it. I'm not that far behind this. him. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not that far behind him. Um, yeah, do the big bitch. Boom! <laughs> Hell yeah! Ooh, tricky! Ooh, tricky! Oh, tricky! Mm. What is that fucking? Does that fucking phone a phone on your head make you fucking smart? Oh, I think he fucked it up. No, nope, he just barely hit it. That was a good pickup. Sensational. <laughs> Too bad you don't have another big ball. We're not doing phrasing? Big bowling ball, jackass. <laughs> I've got big balls. Yes, I've got big balls. No way. <sighs> oh, God. Dinner wasn't too bad, but I am getting sick and tired of cube steak. You did a cube steak boogie? Oh, it feels like we have... What the fuck? It feels like we have cube steak once a week. And it's like, don't get me wrong. I love... I, I love cube steak. But if we have it every single fucking week, it's like... Boring. Oh, I have power-ups that I can use against him, too. I didn't realize. Oh. Oh. Ooh. So like I can make oh, his you can... I can make his balls small. Ah! He used his big ball power up and then I used my small one to re shrink his ball down to normal size. Ah. Uh. Take that, asshole. <laughs> I... Alright, now yeah. I now I'm understanding uh, it's only, it's only a three point difference right now. What's that? Only a three point difference right now. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, if you get one more, you get a Oh, shit. That's right. If I get one more, I get a no shit. I forgot that you you didn't get a second strike in a row. So I I I had I misrepresented myself in hope. Yeah, I didn't have any more power ups to stop him on that one, unfortunately. Gotta get some more power ups. Mmm, sticky. Go for it. Hurry and grab a power up while you're at it. Ooh. Thank you. It's okay. That's okay. Yep. That's a that's easy okay. that's that should be an easy pickup. And more power ups to boot. Yeah, pick up the fucking litter. I'm gonna save that one. Don't feel I you needed it for that. Thank you. You got a triple dipple. <laughs> oh yeah watch this shit listen all y'all it's a sabotage da 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 that's why I said watch this shit. And I held my controller in the air and hit the Z button and blew his fucking bowling ball away. <laughs> now you have the possibility of getting a fucking... Oh. Oh, that was so close to actually like 
a, an actual like natural strike without the use of a power up. That would have been pretty cool. But that's an easy pickup, and I'll get a third roll out of it. I mean, it should be an easy pickup. Third pick roll. Third roll. Do, 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 do. Unless he blows my ball do, 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 up. Do, 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 do. Nope. Uh, well, I think I'm going to use my giant ball there to maybe possibly get a strike on this next throw. Yeah. Or it just didn't work for some reason. I hit the Z button. It must maybe not. Maybe because must not have hit it quickly maybe enough. Maybe because on the maybe because on the bonus throw the the power up doesn't count or doesn't. I don't know let you why it. it wouldn't. What have I know? I'm gonna try to fuck him over as much as possible here. See if I can win. He still picked it up. Motherfucker. Damn. Oh, he zoomed out of the way of my fucking power-up. It's alright. He... I think he won. Only barely, though. Nope. 134 to 145. You won. Oh, it's sweet. Nice. Nice. <sighs> Thoughts on Milo's Astro Lanes, Jason? You know, it's a unique little uh, bowling game. Uh, it's not too bad. Ashley. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, yeah, it's a solid little bowling title. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot going into it, and as it turns out, I uh, it's actually a lot of fun. Scores out of ten, Jason. Seven. Ashley. I'm gonna give it a seven as well. I'm gonna give it an eight. On this edition of the show, we played Buck Bumble, WCW NWO Revenge, and Milo's Astro Lanes. Best game of the episode, Jason. Uh, bump for the bump for the bump for the beat. Go to the Buck Bumble. Ashley. Uh, XCW versus NWO Revenge. Say XCW. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, <laughs> fucking Revenge. Uh, I'm going to go. Oh, uh, this is a tough one for me, but I'm actually going to go Milo's Astro Lane. So every, every game got a spotlight this episode, strangely. Uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. <laughs>